Hey guys, Max here. I got a pretty interesting uh, trackball today. And I'm not a huge trackball fan, but I'm a mouse fan. Uh, previous my only trackball experience has been a Logitech Trackman Marble, I believe it's called. It doesn't have a scroll wheel, and actually, scroll wheels are kind of interesting with trackballs. But I just wanted to show you first, trackball is removable. It is fairly large, actually. Um, and then just going around here, the uh, the sensor is actually optical, meaning it uses a LED. There is another light that seems to be just for looks. And then over here we have left and a right click and a scroll wheel. And you can see it is a very, very glossy finish. And here's the cable. It is a wired mouse, which in my opinion is a plus because you get a delay if it's wireless. Um, the pulling rate is 125 hertz. The perfect control speed seems to be about one meter per second where it malfunctions, and the malfunction isn't terribly bad. Um, yeah, it is it is comfortable, and it's a thumb trackball. It's a fairly large thumb trackball, so people with smaller hands might have some issue with this. Uh, it comes in black, white, and red. Uh, here's a model number, the MA hyphen TB thirty nine BK, and I think the last two digits are uh, color, saying what color the body is. Here's the side. Allegedly, you're able to do either four hundred or eight hundred DPI, just it says right here, but I can't figure out how to get that to work. And I can show you guys the manual and where I think. It says it, and there. There's a lot of things I just I simply don't understand. I don't understand Japanese. Um, it was made around 2010, and apparently some of the first ones they had some issues with the uh, cursor skipping, and with my experience with it so far, that's not even an issue. So I don't think that that's an issue anymore on any of the current ones and just to show like this has a Windows 8 sticker it's not the actual it's not actually printed on like up here all of these versions of Windows are actually printed onto the box so if you aren't sure uh, if you have a newer one or not I would I would bet that the ones with the Windows 8 sticker are the newer ones um, so I want to show you guys how to change the DPI if you want to. So what you want to do is you want to go into your control panel, go to hardware and sound, uh, uh, below devices and printers, go into mouse, and then go to pointer options. If I were you, I would turn off enhanced pointer precision. So if you want to do half the DPI, which I believe is 400 DPI, you want to put it on the fourth notch if you want it, and normally you put at the sixth notch. I currently have it the fourth because that I find uh, it feels better. Um, not too much else to say about this. Well, the bottom is pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, there's five mouse feet. It looks like this is very easy to open. Nothing seems to be hidden at all, which is a huge plus in my opinion. Uh, the mice feet are foam and look like they could wear out pretty quickly. But the the rest of the surface where my thumb is, is kind of, uh, the texture is a little bit sticky almost. So I think that even if the mouse feet were to wear out, uh, losing grip with this uh, trackball wouldn't be too much of an issue. And like I said earlier, with it is a super glossy finish, but it does not track fingerprints at all, or at least not in my experience. So in my opinion, that's a huge plus for it being glossy, because glossy looks good, except it doesn't look good with fingerprints on it. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this mouse or trackball. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me. Back uh, for the conclusion, um, although I guess I was never back for you guys. So just to show you also what it looks like at night, and I've used it for a few days now, so here it is when it's kind of, I don't want to call it asleep because it's not a wireless mouse, it's not asleep, but there's a separate LED 
that's not on when you're not using it. So this is a, how bright it is when that other light isn't on. And then the light doesn't get to this lower ring, it seems like. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, and then looking at it from over like this angle, if you had somebody looking over your shoulder or something, and over here, it's not very um, obnoxious. And to me, it kind of reminds me of like a Windows Mouse optical kind of glow. And then here it is glowing. It looks pretty bright on the camera, and it really isn't. I'm in the kind of absolute brightest angle where it's really all shining right at the camera, but then we can move off a little bit. It's not very bad. Not very, or it depends on what you like. It's not, it doesn't glow very much, in my opinion. And then the scroll wheel also glows. The light bleeds into it. The scroll wheel is translucent, so it goes out like that. And then the light bleed does go through a bit from the shell, but it's not very visible. Um, yeah, so, and then also like this, the trackball itself is really nice. So when I first got it, I was having some issues with scrolling diagonally like that. Uh, or not scrolling, but moving the cursor diagonally. And I, that's actually a problem with a lot of trackballs. But if I show you this, I'm actually moving diagonally without any problem. So usually the issue with trackballs, when you try to move diagonally, you go up like this kind of, it's like steps. But on this one, I'm not having that issue at all. And you can move at different angles and it works really well. So this is a really nice, really nice trackball for that. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's a big trackball also, it's comfortable. Um, the scroll wheel, so one of the issues I have with the scroll wheel is that it doesn't scroll very quickly. So I can show you now, if, well I kind of want to focus but I guess it doesn't really matter. So I have it set up to where it's high I think right now. And if you want to change this, you go into your um, control panel where we were earlier for the mouse sensitivity, go to hardware and sound, click on mouse, and then go over to wheel. And then right here, although, okay, yeah, I focused. So there's this number here. It should be defaulted on to three. So if you want to scroll quicker, I recommend turning it up to six because this scroll wheel is not very fast. But if you do that, it will be fast. So we can do that now. Um, let's see, what else? What's another good pro? I think I said it's comfortable. It really is comfortable. It's probably one of the biggest mice I've used. And that's really is nice, in my opinion, for a trackball. Because your, your hand really fits onto it and it really feels good. Although I would appreciate if it was a little bit bigger, even. But, um, so what else? What else, what else, what else? So some cons, I guess. Well, okay, no, I want to, so, um, it is a thumb trackball. The ball on it for being a thumb trackball is really big, uh, which is awesome. And then with that being said, it also has a scroll wheel, which is for some reason that's very, or fairly uncommon for thumb trackballs, um, to have a scroll wheel. So having a scroll wheel is just amazing because really right now the only other mouse it competes with is the Logitech M570 I think it is. It's a thumb trackball they have and the ball's small and it's wireless. So wireless you get a delay but this mouse you don't get a delay. And then that one's also laser. This one's optical and optical is a uh, superior technology. Let the debate begin. Um, anyways so it does collect smudges, so I didn't say that yet, but the smudges aren't really visible except for at night and in kind of an artificial situation and it does collect lint, which I think might be because just because it is a uh, black trackball, um, as you can see in like the center of the image right now, except for I'm having trouble focusing. Um, and I think that that might be because it's black. So the white one might not have the issue with the lint, for instance. Um, so the switches, well actually, okay, so I have some more cons and I'll say some neutral points again. Um, the pulling rate is 125 hertz and I really wish that was smoother, but 
I don't think it's too big of a deal because I'm really just using this just as a comfortable mouse or a comfortable trackball. I think that's I think that 125 is okay, but it seriously should be higher. And I would completely understand somebody saying, oh no, I don't want to get that because it's 125 hertz. But then you also need to consider that no other trackball is over 125 hertz. And this might be overclockable. You might be able to overclock the USB port and get a higher pulling rate, but I haven't tried. And when I was doing the mouse um, pulling rate test, it seemed pretty stable at 125, so it's possible it can go over without any problem. That's something to check out, but I'm using Windows 8, and I don't have any older versions of Windows, so I can't test that. Um, and then probably one of the biggest gripes, although I showed you guys how to fix it, was the um, the DPI. The resolution of it is stuck on whatever. I'm not sure how you change it. It's possible you can change it, but I don't know how you do that. If there were some English instructions, that would make this mouse a whole lot better. And if there are, in fact, no instructions on how to um, change the DPI, it'd be great to have that. But once again, it's not a big deal. I changed it in the Windows settings, and it's fine. But the thing you need to keep in mind is that when you do that, you end up skipping counts. While that might not be a big deal, it's just it's not ideal, I guess. This isn't it skipping counts, this is me just showing you nothing really. Anyways, uh, see guys, really good mouse for the money. It's only 35 bucks if you compare it to the Logitech equivalent. The Logitech equivalent, while it hovers sometimes between 35 and I think it's gone up to like 60, I think that this mouse is just completely superior unless you need a wireless trackball. Then get the Logitech one. Otherwise, seriously, this one just makes so much more sense. Peace.